Yes, a shorter video but still very important. I want to briefly talk about the importance of a diverse skill set. And of course the simple answer is, being a one trick means you can't play other things. But actually, I want to dive into something a little bit deeper than that. I've made a few videos related to this topic, but that was targeted at a specific audience. The very common beginner jump one tricks. Today, I want to explore something that has a bit more meaning at a higher level of play, or even all levels of play. What if I told you that specialising in a skill set doesn't actually improve that skill set? It sounds counterintuitive. If we took speed as an example, then why on earth would playing speed maps not help with your speed? And it's not really the case that speed maps don't help with your speed. They certainly will, but the point I want to make is that it's up to a degree. A certain point at which practicing speed no longer improves your speed, as if there is a bottleneck. The improvement in that skill set turns out to be limited by factors that at first glance aren't related to that skill set at all. And that's just one example. This concept applies to every skill set in the game. Timestamps are on screen right now and in the description, so without further ado, let's dive into some real context. Quickly before we start, I just want to mention that not even 10% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. I see people complaining about not having 50%, but like, bruh, I don't even have 10. So go ahead and subscribe to support the channel for more informational content. Let's get back into the video. If you have high burst speed, medium stream speed, and low death stream speed, if you perfect low death stream speed, you will indirectly increase your hot burst speed and your strain, uh, stream speed. And if you increase your stream speed, you will indirectly increase your burst speed. But if you increase your burst speed, you're not really working at anything regards to stream and death stream because you're only doing it for such a short amount of time and you're putting a lot of strain for that high BPM raise. Indirectly is an important word. It forms the basis of this entire topic. Practicing one skill indirectly improves many others. With that logic, practicing many skills will improve everything you could possibly need. Ryan talks about speed specifically, but this concept applies to every skill set in the game. I want to use this time to confess a few things. I am not afraid and neither do I feel shame in admitting my mistakes. I was a jump one trick. In my current state, I am still close to that, but only recently am I starting to diverge. It's ironic because I created the video that helps jump one tricks get out of that pit hole that eventually forbid them from not just streaming, but from even learning how to stream. Because of their lack of basic finger coordination and reading skills from playing 30 second 6 star jump maps, it's strange for me to say that I have started to divert from being a jump one trick just 3 weeks ago today. Even I'm learning from my own content. You can look at my top plays and they're just a lot of DT jump maps, but that doesn't mean I can't stream, I very well can. But top plays at this low- I can't actually stream. It turns out that I can't actually read either. I am running away from problems where I didn't even know that I was running away in the first place. It's thanks to Spazza for pointing out that very subtle part in the video, because it means a lot more than it looks. I am running away from AR9 Freedom Dive because I found AR10 easier to read. In terms of the game's mechanics, increasing the AR means that note lock happens less and note density decreases. So of course, it was a lot easier to play. Don't try and find ways of making the journey easier. I said that six months ago, and I didn't even realise how meaningful that actually was and how it applies to me as well. I also want to briefly talk about a bottleneck in my improvement. In July 2020, I decided that becoming a speed player would be pretty cool. I set my goals in the game to focus around the skill set of speed. So I grinded out a lot of sped up maps using Osu Trainer, and just practice a lot of high BPM burst maps. Sure, it doesn't sound like anything bad. In fact, it was all good. Initially, I set some really nice scores that I'm proud of to this day, and um, choked some scores that I can't even get close to today. But after that initial burst of improvement, I saw nothing more afterwards for two months. Even though I was playing consistently, the scores on those maps were not getting better. Accuracy is still mediocre. I can't get a better combo. Nothing is improving. But why is that? Well, let me tell you something. After getting my cheeks clapped left, right and centre on mid 5 star no mod maps in multi lobbies, 
I realized I had to go back to basics. My stream flow aim and my general nomad reading is actually terrible for my rank. So I started relearning, or even learning the mid to high 5 star streams, eventually progressing to the mid 6 stars. Sure, it was hard at first, but actually it was really exciting and enjoyable to look at a completely new perspective on the game that wasn't just DT or speed. Spent a few weeks just playing stream maps or other nomad maps, and one day decided to pick up high BPM burst maps again. Just look at the results. All I can say is, wow, I wish I had done this before. I'm now setting scores that are more impressive or higher ACK in just a few weeks of stream practice compared to that little speed training era where I got bottlenecked for two months with no stream practice, only quote unquote speed practice. It seems that practicing nomad and streams to the point where I don't int on general nomad consistency maps has indirectly improved my speed skill set, which is the one that I wanted to focus on the most. So why is that the case? Why did practicing a seemingly unrelated skill set help with the skill set that I wanted to get good at the most? It's because there is an indirect connection, or even a direct connection if you want to think about it that way as well. You see, if I broke down the skill set of streams into subsets of related skills, it can look like this. That is a lot of skills. By practicing streams, you are building upon all of these skills, all at once. Some may be more than others depending on the skill set or the way you train that skill set, but for me, the skills that improved immensely as a result of learning streams were stamina, flow aim, and finger control. Of course, that's not to say that I didn't improve at the other skills, but I am mentioning these three because they are the ones that I am really bad at. Now, if I broke down my understanding of the speed skill set, it can look like this. You see, in that two month period where I was only focusing on the speed skill set, I was improving at all of these skills, but I'm missing some key elements. If we compare it directly to the core principles of the streaming skill set, you can see that there are some skills in the speed skill set that aren't covered, or at least aren't covered as much as the stream skill set. That was the cause of my bottleneck. And once I actually trained those from the stream skill set, this bottleneck that I had on my speed journey just completely vanished. I was missing stamina, I was missing flow aim, I was missing finger control. Sure, I was getting faster, but the maps I played required these three skills as well, it's not just speed. These skills aren't so well developed by the speed skill set, or at least it seems that way because actually I never had these skills in the first place. I say it seems that way because the way I broke down these skill sets aren't accurate, I don't exactly have a PhD in OSU or anything, and it's not really the case that the speed skill set doesn't train flow aim, finger control, or stamina. Because for sure, there are amazing players that are actually practicing flow aim, finger control, and stamina with the speed skill set. The point that I want to make is that I never had those skills in the first place. Practicing streams helps build the fundamental base for those skills and essentially broke this bottleneck which allowed me to improve once again. There is no way I can practice stamina, flow aim and finger control from the speed skill set if I never had it in the first place. I discussed that concept in previous videos already. You can't learn to run without first learning how to walk. The beautiful thing about this relationship between the two skill sets is that actually there's a relationship between all of the skill sets. It's not just that streams help speed or speed helps streams. It's that pretty much 100% of the time X helps Y in one form or another. You can call it an indirect or a direct connection, it depends on the way you look at it. That's why you'll see that all of the top players have a diverse skill set in some form or another. Just a small example, we take a look at Badu and his easy or easy DT skill is ridiculous. The same applies for White Cat or Vaxe, their skills are ridiculous as well in this skill set. Breaking it down into a subset of skills, you can see that reading is improved massively from learning this skill set. Reading corresponds to 99.99% of aim, which is why you'll see that a lot of high tier aim players 
have practiced easy or low AR. Maybe I'll make a video on aim at some point. There are of course countless things that top players are capable of other than the skill set that they are known for. Also, I wouldn't recommend learning easy at a beginner level. You have better things to worry about. It's all discussed in this video, so go ahead and watch it if you haven't already, it's packed full of information. The conclusion is that if you're stuck at any point, even in your favourite skill set, try practicing other skill sets and aim to have a diverse skill set. It isn't just important because it means you can play other things and that you're not a one trick. It's important because it means you can carry on playing the things that you enjoy playing. Each skill set in the game helps all other skill sets. Not only will it unlock the bottlenecks in your learning journey, but also gives you the motivation and a new understanding of the game every time you start learning or improving at a different skill set. There are so many skills you can explore in the game. You improve a lot more in not just all of the skill sets, but your favourite skill set and more importantly, you'll even enjoy the game a lot more. Much love to my patrons for supporting my work and as always, if you found this video informational hit that like button and if you love informational videos hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.